5,000 years ago. In the Bronze Age. On the territory of modern Greece. Aegean civilization flourished. Inhabitants of the Cyclades. Sophisticated Crete. And Golden Mycenae. Had common military traditions and a complex of weapons. The most common bladed weapon of the Aegean was the dagger. About 80% of the weapons found in Crete are daggers. This weapon served as a symbol of an adult full-fledged man. Ancient armorers gradually improved the shape of the blade. And the masters decorated with the most bizarre patterns of gold. Over time, the daggers became longer and turned into swords. Like their ancestors, these swords had to stab the enemy. The blow could lead to the loss of the hilt or damage to the blade. A longer grip and a wide blade partly solved this problem. Then the handle was strengthened and hand protection was added. Swords of this and improved type could both stab and cut. Subsequent types of Aegean bronze swords became shorter and stronger. At the same time, the development of the Aegean thrusting swords was completed. Meanwhile, a very successful new type of sword came from Central Europe. Separately, it should be noted special swords with a single blade. The spear is the main and most accessible weapon of the Bronze Age warrior. If the shield was behind the warrior's back, then long spears were held with both hands. When the spearman held the spear differently, his shield was in front. The fight was reminiscent of the battles of European pikemen of the late Middle Ages. The chariot warrior also used a long spear. Later, the spear became a lighter and shorter weapon. This allowed the Aegean warriors to use it, spear, with one hand. Copper axes were mass-produced by the ancient inhabitants of the Cyclades. Like the Minoan double axes, these were the tools of lumberjacks and carpenters. Now it is difficult to say whether these tools were used as weapons. However, one of the skeletons from the island of Crete bears axe marks. But the Mycenaeans left evidence of the presence of a battle axe in their arsenal. We do not know if darts were used as weapons in the early and middle periods. In the late period, wall paintings come to our aid. On them we see Aegean warriors armed with a pair of javelins. It is likely that not only the skirmisher had darts, but also the fighter on the chariot. Unfortunately, no physical remains of the bows have been found at present. However, we have many arrowheads made of stone, obsidian and bronze. The serrated tips of some arrows indicate their military purpose. On one tablet from Crete, 8,000 arrowheads are mentioned at once. It is known that in the armies of the Mycenaean kings there were archers on foot. At the same time, there are images where the warriors on the chariot also hold a bow in their hands. The sling is a throwing weapon that has been used in the Aegean since ancient times. They shot stones, pieces of baked clay and lead bullets from a sling. An ancient source records, slingers fighting alongside archers. The offensive weapons complex of the warriors of the Aegean region in the Bronze Age was not inferior to the advanced civilizations of Mesopotamia, Egypt and the Levant. Armorers from ancient Greece consistently improved the characteristics of deadly bronze and managed to solve the problems of durability and efficiency. Aegean weapons testify to the amazing technologies of ancient people and allow you to look into the disappeared world of the first civilization of Europe.